Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris and I am super excited to do this video right now and I will tell you why in a second, but I know a lot of people probably say, I'm so excited for this video, but I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna be opening some packages today. Usually when I get mail, I, I let it sit there for maybe a week or so until I get enough and then I usually open them on camera. I haven't done this in a while. I have some a few things to open today. The reason why I'm excited because there's one particular box that I got about three or four days ago and I didn't open it because I, I thought it was completely something else. So when I was sorting through the packages today uh, to see what I was gonna open and what I was gonna set aside because sometimes I purchase things that I need here at the house to have no reason to open them on camera. Uh, so when I looked at who this one was from, I kind of freaked out and got a little bit excited and I'll show you why right now. So come over here. There's Zeke, he's right next to me. I just opened this after I saw who it was from and I'm legit so excited to make this video because some of you may know that my camera broke and I had to send it in for repairs and here it is. My, it's apparently been sitting here now for about four days and I could have been using it, but uh, I didn't really pay attention. So this is my Sony a7 III and the quality of this camera is much, much, much better than the one I'm using right now. To be honest, it kind of bummed me out that I wasn't able to use this in the last couple of weeks. Um, and I've been streaming pretty much every night before I had to uh, send this back. And I haven't really been streaming as much because I don't like the quality of this camera. It doesn't work in my uh, streaming setup. And also I have been having to use my, my phone and that's not really ideal. So now I'm excited that I got my camera back. So I'm gonna open this, get it up and running, and I'm gonna switch it out with that one right there. And hopefully the picture is gonna look much better. Is the picture better? Hopefully. All right, let's get to opening the packages. I thought I'd change it up a little bit and did not film this in the kitchen or in my office. So I decided we're gonna do it right here in the living room. It's midday. We got sunlight coming in both windows. It's well lit in here. So uh, let's open some boxes here. Who's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Let's go with this one first. We're just gonna slide that in there, cut it open. Oh, that just opened pretty easy. We have some 22 day nutrition protein powder. If you're a newcomer to the channel, this is my favorite protein powder. If you guys have been on the channel for a while, you already know that this is my favorite protein powder. There it is, 22 day nutrition. It's a really great taste. It's clean ingredients. It's vegan, non-GMO, and there's only a few ingredients in it. And that's what I like about it. And uh, I literally drink this uh, when I'm not out of it. About every day when I make a smoothie. Throw that in my smoothie. Vanilla, they also have strawberry and chocolate. Vanilla is my favorite. Strawberry is a close second. Uh, there's no artificial sweeteners or flavors. <laughs> Delicious, that, that's true. Uh, BCAAs, um, Grant's chain amino acids. Uh, 20 grams of complete protein, vegan, it's a vegan company, gluten-free, no soy added, not GMO. So there you go. I'm excited that I have this. I don't know where you can find this other than their website. If you go to 22 Day Nutrition website, they also have meal plans and stuff like that. But they used to carry these at Target and Wegmans and I, I haven't seen them lately. They also had protein bars that I really liked and I haven't been able to find those either. So I'm just happy to have this. So organic plant-based protein. And I always say this too, I always follow up by saying, I don't think everybody necessarily needs to take extra protein, but this has other things in it too. It's nutritious and it's, it's really good tasting. So when I make my smoothie, I just throw a scoop in there. Uh, I'm getting the extra protein, but if you eat right, you don't need extra protein. It just, it makes your smoothie taste super good. And uh, that's what I like about it. All right, next package here to the vegan zombie. Okay, Maxine's Heavenly. I've heard about these guys, but let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's not cut towards ourself. Let's cut away from ourselves. Towards the zombies, not towards yourself. I'm so excited that the new camera's up and running. Maxine's Heavenly, you are a treat. You, that's what it says, you are a treat. Wow, look at that, just off the bat, it's like, it's very colorfully packed. 
All right, so Maxine's Heavenly are cookies. Delicious cookies, soft bake, purest ingredients, uh, non-GMO, gluten-free, plant-based, soy-free, sweetened with coconut sugar and dates. This is Peter, Peter, uh, peanut butter chocolate chunk, not Peter butter, peanut butter chocolate chunk, and they are certified vegan. Who's was that? Was that you guys? Did you guys get a text? Check your phones. Make sure you you have them on silent when we're doing these videos here. We have almond chocolate chunk. I'm lo I'm loving the chocolate and I'm loving the almonds. Cinnamon oatmeal raisin. And last but not least, we have chocolate chocolate chunk. I mean, how can you go wrong? They're vegan and lots of chocolate. All right, and we'll set those over to the what? You want me to taste test one of these on camera? Let's see. I'm gonna go with the peanut butter. I tricked it. You thought I was going with the chocolate chocolate chunk. And you would be right because I mentally picked that one out. But I'm gonna go with something different today. I mean, we're doing change of scenery. We're gonna also, um, we're gonna go with the peanut butter chocolate chunk. So I'm gonna just open these real nice. Try not to ruin the packaging. So maybe I can take some pictures of these for social media. Okay, they smell really good. They smell like I want to eat the whole bag. That's what they smell like. Um, but what they, they look like, these um, mini cookies, they're not too mini, but they're not too big. They're nice and thick. They got some big chocolate. Okay, I'll come over and show you guys what they look like. But let's see what they taste like. Here we go. Wow. Well, I tried one out of the four flavors and yeah, it's delicious. It's really good. Maxine's Heavenly. Pick them up if you see them in the stores. I'm not sure where they're sold, but I'm sure we'll be seeing them soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got something from FedEx. We've got instructions. Howl like the wolf. So I have had these before, but I guess they have new and improved flavors. So Howell has uh, boxed mac and cheese. It looks like we got two of each flavor. So this is the Deluxe Classic Cashew with a K, K-A-S-H-O-O. -O. So it's cashew-based mac and cheese. A certified vegan non-GMO. And this one is the spicy chipotle cashew. Let me just show you guys a little closer. Uh, I love the packaging, the howl. There's some of the ingredients. You guys can pause that, blow it up, whatever you need to do to read the ingredients. So I will be trying these out, howl mac and cheese. And apparently you can find these in Whole Foods. All right, we are on to the last package here. And right here on the tape, it says ramen hero. It says, recycle me. It looks like, uh, find out what's inside. We have one, two. So ramen hero, creamy vegan miso ramen. And this is, uh, I guess all of the sauces and stuff in this bag. And then in this bag, it's vegan uh, shoyu ramen. So it's called ramen hero and I'm excited to to make, this was just an exciting video. You know, I got my camera back, I got some cool food. I'm excited to uh, to put this together and make it. I just made up some uh, tofu that I could throw in there too. When I make this, I will take pictures of how it came out and I'll post that on my Instagram account so you guys can go check that out, um, the vegan zombie on Instagram. And uh, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, give me the thumbs up and all that good stuff if you did and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, hit the little bell so you don't miss notifications. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see me do next. And stay safe, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go outside.